What the heck is this? Eyepiece projection photography through your telescope. How does it even work? Well, first you're going to need to get a, a tube like this, an eyepiece extension tube. Now you've got this skinny end on the bottom here, and you can use that if you want to stick it right into your diagonal of your telescope like that. Put the camera on top, and you can take pictures that way. I'm going to do it by taking off this little skinny piece. For me, that doesn't work. And what I do is I'm going to take this end of the the tube and I attach that straight to my telescope. Of course this right here is going to go right to your camera itself. So now what I'm going to do is take an eyepiece. I got this guy right here, a little 10 millimeter. Take the bottom part off. So you unscrew that, move that to the side. So now all you have is your eyepiece itself. Take this extension tube, you drop the eyepiece into it, make sure it's nice and flush down there, and then you take the screw on top and you're going to screw that down just a bit you don't want to damage the eyepiece itself, but you don't want it to move. So now you can see the eyepiece is right there inside of this tube. The tube itself will attach to your telescope, the camera to the back of the tube, and now you're able to magnify whatever target you're looking at quite a bit. I'm going to be heading out to Avila Beach. We're going to a brand new RV park called Flying Flags Avila Beach. It's got this great view of the sky, and I'm going to be looking for quite a few things. I'm going to look for Saturn and Jupiter, of course. I want to see if I can get a picture using this eyepiece projection tube attached to my telescope to see if I can get any detail at all in Jupiter. I've never done that before. We're going to also shoot it up at uh, Saturn itself. I'll probably take my cell phone, stick it to the back to see what that looks like first. Then I'll put this tube on and try to get a shot using the camera directly attached to the telescope. We'll see how that looks as well. Also, I've got three planets lining themselves up in the sky. We have got Jupiter, Saturn, and Venus all right above the horizon. So my goal is to get a picture of that too so I can have all of those three, uh, th those three planets in the picture, including Earth, which would make up half of the planets in our solar system. That's a pretty good shot. So that's what I'm going for. Come with me. We're headed out to the beach. I'm going to be taking my Skywatcher Travel Star 102. Not a great telescope. It's just an Acromat, but it's lightweight, easy to travel with. It doesn't have any kind of a mount that's going to track the sky, so I can't use it for any kind of deep space photography other than planets. So that's what we're going to do. Come with me. We're headed out to the beach. Heading to the beach, going to a brand new RV resort. I'm leaving the big telescope behind. I'm only taking this guy right here. Skywatcher Star Travel 102. It's an Acromat, not a super powerful telescope, but hopefully that's going to give me everything I need. It's got a little mount there. That is not a mount that follows the sky, so I'm going to have to use these little knobs right here to turn it to keep up with my targets. Now here we are at the Flying Flags Avila Beach RV Resort. Coming around our trailer, I want to show you the shot I had of the night sky. Look at that giant sky I had ready for me for astrophotography. During the day, we just had this beautiful view of the Avila Beach Harbor here. And then in the evenings, the clouds would come in. I'd get some really nice sunset shots. And then the, at night, the clouds would roll out, and it was time for astrophotography. I set up my telescope at the end of our pad right there next to the fire. The first thing I tried was to take my cell phone and stick it right up to the eyepiece. I was trying to get some Saturn shots. Didn't work out so well. So instead, I put my camera on the end uh, using the eyepiece projection and uh, what I ended up with was this shot here of Saturn, which came out pretty good. And then after that, I got my very first picture of Jupiter. It wasn't great, but it was the first time I got any detail in Jupiter at all, so I was excited for that. Then at nighttime, we had three planets lined up in the sky. We had Jupiter, we had Saturn, and we had Venus. And so I took my camera and I put it on a tripod. I wanted to get a shot of four planets in one shot. And here they are, Jupiter, Saturn, Venus, and Earth, all in one shot. That's half of the planets in our solar system. Then it was off to Avila Beach, the downtown area, well, the restaurant district. I wanted to try for some landscape photography. This is a beautiful little uh, restaurant district. There weren't a lot of people, so I put my uh, camera up on the tripod, set it up for a nice landscape photo, and here you go. This is the restaurant district of Avila Beach. The next night, we went out to the San Luis Pier, and we ate at Mercy's, which is this restaurant right here. If you look back, you will see on the mountainside there, that is the RV resort. It takes up that whole area there. 
And then looking across, you get a nice view of Avila Beach over there. After we had dinner, we walked down the pier because I wanted to try to get a picture of the moon just as it was coming up over the town of Avila Beach. So we walked down to the end of the pier, I set up my camera, and then as soon as the sun made its appearance over the top of the city, I got this shot here. And that just shows you what a beautiful little town Avila Beach is. It almost looks golden right there in that photograph. The next day, we were off to a hike in San Luis Obispo, which is just up the freeway a little bit, about 5-10 minutes. And we climbed to the top of a mountain on the King Loop Trail, and you get this great view of San Luis Obispo. And I was looking for some bird photography. First bird that flew overhead was this guy. I think that's an American kestrel. And then after that, I got some great shots of turkey vultures. Some people think turkey vultures are ugly. I think they're pretty awesome, so I got those two shots right there. And that was it, our trip at uh, Flying Flags Avila Beach, a beautiful RV park. You can see here, the best thing to do is just to sit around your campsite, read, enjoy the beautiful view. We had an absolute blast at Flying Flags Avila Beach. It was a great time. So as you can see, it's nice to have a lightweight travel telescope to take along with you. The Travel Star 102, it's not the greatest telescope in the world, but it's perfect for taking with you when you go camping, or, uh, traveling with your RV. It was perfect for this trip. I was able to get some uh, planet photos that I wouldn't have got otherwise. So it's nice to have one of those really lightweight travel telescopes you can take with you. Now something else that was cool that happened on this trip is from the Flying Flags Avila Beach RV Resort, you see straight across the bay, you can see Vandenberg Air Force Base. And they launched a rocket. Uh, it was on my birthday, in fact. So that night, people were all outside of their trailers watching this rocket launch. That was a lot of fun as well. So a great trip, a lot of fun, a chance to go out there and take some great deep sky photographs, planets, and also some bird photography and landscape as well. A lot of fun, great trip. Hey, thanks for coming along with me. I'll see you guys next time on Bruce Tracy Photography.